everybody, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a set of simple stacker rings made out of sterling silver. Uh, so if you are interested, keep on watching. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is choose what type of metal you want to work with. And the metal that I've decided to work with is sterling silver. Um, so we're going to have to choose what type of metal we want to use for our stacker rings. So I'm going to be making three different kinds and we're going to be using this simple uh, sterling silver wire. This is going to make a simple band and also a hammered band. So that's this one. The next one is going to be a beaded band. So this one definitely has a prettier design. It's got all these pretty beads on it. So that's what we're going to be using for this one of the rings. Um, so something that I've learned over the two years of working with silver is choosing your gauge. That definitely was very difficult for me at first, and today I'm going to show you guys which gauge you can use on these stacker rings. And that's what I would use personally. Um, you could definitely do something different, but this is just to kind of give you a gauge on what you can use. Um, all right. All right, so for this project specifically, we're going to be using 14 gauge wire. I believe that 14 gauge is definitely a more daintier wire. So if you're working with simple rings, I would say go with 14. But if you're going to be working with uh, stones and maybe um, different designs, heavier metal designs, I would definitely go with like 10 gauge or lower. Um, but 14 gauge definitely has been working uh, to my advantage. So I will be using that one today. All right. All right, so the next step is to get the sizing for the rings. So for this video, I'm gonna be making a size seven ring and I don't really know how to do the whole editing thing, but if I'm able to, somewhere in here, I'll put a photo of the different measurements that you could use uh, to cut the wire down to get the right size. Um, since I already have this one, I'm going to just use, use it as a reference to size it. <clears throat> and then I've got these flush cutters that I absolutely love. They do a really great job at cutting your wire pretty straight. And so that's that one. So now I've got all three rings cut. And the next step is to file them all down to straighten them out <clears throat> on both ends. So we're going to do that next. <clears throat> 